for today's Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy, soft, glam, smoky eye. I focus this look more on the neutral skin tones, but obviously everyone can give it a try. To create this look, you are going to need an eyeliner pencil. I'm using a black, an eyeshadow palette with a dark, medium, light, and a black. And I actually think this palette would be great for the neutral or even olive skin tones. You'll also need a contour blush and your highlighter, your foundation and concealer, and an eyeshadow primer. Now I've already started off by prepping my face and doing my brows and we're going to start off with the Urban Decay Primer and apply this all over the lid. Usually I like to set my primer in place, however I found this shadow palette really needed something to hold on to. So this eyeshadow primer is going to give our eyeshadow something to hold on to, create a nice even blank canvas for us to work on and also help our shadows last longer. Taking the Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil, I'm going to apply this at the root of the lashes and this is going to work as a base for our smoky eye. So I like to draw all along the lash line, don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I start to kind of tap and blend this out. So we're not using a smudging or smearing motion, we're using a slight tapping motion, working across the liner, keeping it on the lower part of the lid. You can always go back in and add a little bit more liner if you need to, particularly if there's certain areas that maybe aren't as dark as you'd want. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And now we can apply some eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with that kind of darker black, kind of a neutral black shade at the very end of the palette. And I was actually listening to The Double Cleanse with Robert and James and I was laughing so much. If you haven't watched that or listened to that, I would highly recommend it. But I'm gonna start off with that darker shade and we're going to apply this using the E01 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. And what we like to do here on the makeup chair is we like to squash this brush down with our finger to create like a fan shape. Cause we're big fans of this brush. And what this kind of fan shape does is allows us to apply that dark shadow over the top of the liner and make sure it's not going to go anywhere else. It creates a really fine line for us to really tap in a little bit of that shadow over the top of the black liner. This is going to work as a base. It's going to go nice and deep and dark, which is really what you want for a smoky eye. And I'm going to open up the brush and slowly start to blend and buff over the top. Now I haven't picked up any additional product, I'm just working with what's on the lid and already on the brush. And you just want to take your time to softly blend this out, but it again does not have to be perfect. And you should end up with something like this. And then I'm going to take the dark brown and I'm going to tap this over the lid. So we're working up a little bit higher. So we're going over the top of the black, but also working up a little bit higher to coat the lower part of the lid by the lash line. Take your time to build this up. Don't worry about over applying. Just slowly pick up a little bit of product, apply it and keep blending. Remembering to keep it quite low on the lower half of the lid. And I'm going to take the medium shade and I'm going to switch to a fluffy brush. So I'm using the E13 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. Going to tap off any excess and I'm just going to start to buff and blend this over the lid. This is going to create a beautiful fade from the deep darkness at the root of the lashes and then working upwards and fading up towards the brows. If you have hooded eyes, I would actually recommend making sure you're using a really good mid-tone like this one to kind of camouflage that hooded effect. But it also works for all eye shapes. 
Then I'm gonna take the lighter shade from the palette and using a clean blending brush, I'm going to apply this underneath the brows, only a very small amount of it. And this will just, again, create a soft, gentle fade. At this point, I actually ended up having a drop, basically my blood pressure drops, and I can't move or speak for about 10 minutes. And I thought about cutting it out and I actually just wanted to include it because I think it's really important to show the reality of living with a chronic illness. So here's me having a drop. I then went away, had something to eat, and I also put on my lashes and applied mascara. So I'm sorry I couldn't film that bit, but I just needed to do it off camera. The lashes that I'm using are by Primark. They are the 3D lashes. So once the lashes are on, I can then move on to the face. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Concealers, and oh, I have a really good one actually. It's by Essence that I'm loving. It's the Camouflage Concealer. This stuff is amazing. I love it so much. But because I have a little bit of tan on, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Concealers just to apply this almost like a color correcting in kind of a way, using the two different shades to create more of an even tone over my face. And I'm just using a concealer brush just to target certain areas before going in with a foundation brush to kind of blend and tap everything out. You can also use a damp sponge for this too. Now my face is still a little bit lighter than my fake tan, but that's okay because we can always just use a little bit of bronzer later. Now I did want to just brighten up underneath my eyes and also just wanted an excuse to use this concealer because it's really good. So I just tapped this underneath my eyes to brighten them. It probably was a little bit too light, but I just love this concealer so much. Also, if you have a nice light underneath, it will create a more darkness on the top. So it's gonna make your smoky eye stand out a little bit more. And then I set everything in place using the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take my contour first. And I'm going to be using the F41 to apply this. Now this brush is tapered, but it's tapered in a flat way. So basically what this does is it really dips into the hollow of the cheeks and also slightly blends at the same time. And I like to kind of bring it in there and then kind of sweep it up and over the cheeks and around the hairline. Then I like to mix up all of the shades from this palette and apply this kind of like a glowy blush onto my cheeks. And I love this brush, it's one of my favorites. It just applies everything beautifully. And I always like to apply a little extra blush, but kind of mute it a little bit when I am wearing a smoky eye because you don't want your face shape to get lost in the smokiness. And I'm gonna take the eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going to use a fan brush just to apply highlighter on the upper cheeks and the nose and really anywhere where you wanna catch the light. I then line the lips and I actually used a brow pencil. <laughs> And then I applied my favorite liquid lipstick. I love this because it's not too heavy on the lips and I also then set it in place with a little bit of powder just to give a matte finish. And that is the finished look. I'll see you guys back on Wednesday for another kind of fun video. And I'll also be keeping you guys updated on my Instagram. I'm kind of working on something kind of cool. You can also check out the other videos on the screen, but I just wanna say a little message just to look after yourselves. I, I wasn't great to myself this week. I was kind of a little bit hard on myself. I pushed myself a little bit too much. Just be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself and, and take care. And I'll see you in the next one, my friends. Bye for now.